Hey, it's Walter Van Dusen. We are at the B&H Build Expo with Roman. I've been looking forward to meeting Roman since I've heard about Angelbird card, Media Cards made in Austria. I believe you're the CEO. Yes. CEO and founder of Angelbird. I'm going to go behind the camera, but the reason why I'm here besides all the amazing cards is they have a one terabyte type A card, which I would love to be able to use in my FX6, FX30, A7R5, FX30 on this rig. At NAB, I had all my cards empty because I ended up uh, doing 53 interviews. So the Sony 160 cards was not enough media. So once this got announced, the one terabyte, which I'll put back here, Once that came out, that was a game changer. Uh, really woke up the uh, big boys, Sony t and other companies. This is a, what do they call it? An, a disruptor. So this, this type A card, one terabyte, reasonably priced, sold out everywhere, uh, is a game changer. But they also make a huge line, pretty much all the cards you can think of for Red, Sony, and other companies. So Sony not. Say again? Sony not. We don't build the cards for Sony. You, you have cards for Sony. Yes, that's true. That's true. F O R. You have cards for and Red and other CFAS yes. and et cetera. So Roman's going to go give an overview of Angel Bird, hopefully, and talk about this. But I just want to let you guys, um, I'm interested in Type A, one terabyte card, reasonably priced. We have the FX down here with nice showpiece on this. And we're over here and we're at the b and Build 50th anniversary show. And Roman is going to talk about that. Thank you, Roman. Yeah, Walter, thanks for passing by. Uh, it's great to see you here now. Uh, we didn't have the chance, uh, as you already said, uh, to meet up at uh, the NEB, but now we have the chance here at PH 2023. And I'm really thrilled about this show. It's a great show. We have uh, good success, nice people, end users, really great talks. Uh, let's go through, uh, quickly through the product line. When we start uh, with the smallest products, uh, but not the lowest capacity, but smaller products, products uh, like the micro SD cards, V30 for your uh, drone, for your action cams, uh, from the from these really small uh, but high capacity cards, we go over to the SD cards where we offer V60 and V90 cards for the DSLR but also for the video purpose, so the, especially V90 cards, which are very, very uh, well priced also, and uh, capacity wise, very well uh, uh, um, uh, positioned for the nowadays uh, cameras to do a lot of uh, uh, continuous shooting, but also video material. Then we go to a legacy actually product, uh, CFast. CFast uh, has been introduced uh, a while ago, um, still, there are a lot of cameras out there. I think the, the, the manufacturer of cameras uh, um, who are using this, it's, it's, it's uh, going smaller and uh, definitely it will be replaced by CF Express Type B. Um, but here we still have a, a very nice lineup, up to one terabyte for your uh, Red Komodo, for your Blackmagic cameras, for your Seacam. Uh, everything which uh, is uh, uh, on CFast. Also, Canon still has cameras, the C200, C300 uh, for CFast. But as I said, that will be a legacy product uh, uh, within the next years. Um, CF Express Type B. Yeah, that's that's the topic which will definitely be there and the technology which, uh, which will be there for the upcoming five to 10 years for sure where we here already go up to capacities of four terabyte, as you can see. So we start at 512 gig, very affordable, very, very well priced, very well sized uh, for the uh, most cameras out there and for the most uh, needs, but also here for very long shooting. If you're in a plane, if you're underwater or in extreme uh, 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 situations or documentary where you have really long shoots up to four terabyte, then we get to the type A, Type A is uh, technology-wise uh, in line with uh, Type B, but smaller form factor, currently used mainly uh, with Sony cameras. We offered here uh, since NAB the one terabyte. Currently we are sold out, but uh, for sure there will be some new productions uh, be in the market soon. Um, and 
what else we have? Of course, for all the uh, technologies, we have the, uh, the, the proper eight readers from, I have to check here, uh, type B, SD cards, CFast cards, type A. Uh, nice thing here on the readers, we have everywhere a write protect switch. When a write protect switch, make sure that nothing from the host system, so once you mount the, the storage on your system, will be able to edit or manipulate the data which is on the cards. On SD cards, you know it with the lock on the side, you can prevent that the uh, uh, data has, will be manipulated, but on, uh, on CFast as well, CF Express, type B or type A, you don't have the possibility uh, to write protect. And this is the reason why we have write protect on our readers. So make sure to use this uh, if you offload your data from your camera, because then you can ensure that nothing will be manipulated. And uh, the reason why these things uh, they call it, are called readers are you want to read and not write. Also here, out of metal, um, aluminum, we have solid connect also built in, in here. So that means the, ca the cable completely sinks in to the product. Very robust uh, connection. What else? On the other side here of the table, we have the 2.5 inch AV Pro MK3 drives, which are the per a perfect fit for your uh, Blackmagic Hyperdex to record and also to play. Also here we have the handling that you can really easily take it in and out from the slots. Nine millimeters in size. Then we have the Atom X drives for the Atomos recorders which perfectly slide into the recorder. Capacity one terabyte, two terabyte. So also here you uh, are completely set to record long duration, uh, recording progress on all your camera gear uh, by using these nice Atomos recorders. And of course we have accessories. We don't have everything here. But for, for the entire workflow, we try to have the products for you. And uh, we hope to see you soon at our next, next trade show. Walter, thanks for inviting me. So thanks for coming over, Walter. Uh, it was a pleasure. And again, congratulations to B&H for that really, really nice show. And all the trainings, what you set up, it's really was something very special for your 50th anniversary. Happy birthday. And uh, hope to see you soon back. Bye.